Let me walk you through how to set up a basic lab in Cathara. Go ahead and create a new folder for the Cathara lab. Make sure Windows shows you the file name extensions. Cathara lab files aren't regular text files. Every Cathara lab has a configuration file. This file is called lab.conf. Create a new text file with this name and delete it.txt file extension. Windows will ask you if you really want to change the file extension. Choose yes. Click on the file and use notepad to open it. The file can be edited like any other text file. It just has the .conf extension. The lab file declares all the devices that you want to deploy inside the lab. I'll create a lab consisting of two PCs. Each PC will have one network card. This is defined by the square brackets. I'll place both devices inside area A. Save the file, start up Docker Desktop. Agree to the service agreement, click on continue without signing in and on skip. It will take a second to spin up the Docker engine. Minimize the window and open up a command prompt inside the lab folder. Shift right click into the folder or type cmd inside the path field of the Windows Explorer window. Enter the command Cathara L start. Cathara will open up the devices specified in the lab.conf file. I'll put the virtual PCs side by side. Let's establish connectivity by assigning both devices an IP address. Use the IP address add command to do so. Enter the IP address and subnet mask and specify Ethernet 0 as the device to assign the IP address to. Give the second PC an IP address in the same subnet. I'll choose dot 20. Verify connectivity by pinging the devices from each other. Let's expand on that further. Shut down the current lab with the Cathara L clean command. Open up the configuration file. Add a new device called R1, which will be a router. Create interface 0 and interface 1 for the router. Router 1 will be connected to two areas called A and B. PC1 will stay in area A and PC2 will move to area B. Save the configuration file. Use the Cathara L start command to start the Cathara lab. It will show the collision domains and the devices created. On the top left side is PC1 and below is PC2. On the top right side is the router and below is the prompt to control the Cathara lab. Assign an IP address to PC1, I'll choose 10.0.0.10. Assign an IP address in another subnet to PC2, I'll choose 10.10.0.10. .10 Configure the router interfaces with the first IP address in the respective subnets. PC1 is connected to router interface 0. Assign the IP 10.0.0.1 to Ethernet 0 on the router. The second interface on the router is connected to PC2. Assign the IP 10.10.0.1 to Ethernet 1 on the router. I misassigned the IP address to Ethernet 0 on the router. If you have misassigned any IP address, you can delete the configuration with the IP address delete command. Specify the correct interface and hit enter. Display the current configuration with the IP address command. Check the IP that is assigned to the first interface and check the second interface too. Issue a ping from PC1 to the IP address of PC2.
The PC says the network is unreachable. This means it doesn't know where the other network is located. Check what PC1 knows using the IP route command. As you can see, PC1 knows that everything in its subnet is located on its network interface card, Ethernet 0. 10.0.0.0/24 is called a directly connected network. This must mean that PC1 has connectivity to any other IP address in the 10.0.0.0/24 subnet. Let's ping the IP address of the router to verify. As you can see, it can ping the interface of the router. Let's tell PC1 how to reach PC2 subnet. Use the IP route add command to do so. Everything in the 10.10.0.0/24 subnet can be reached over the router interface. The router will take care that the packet is delivered. In order for the ping to get a reply, PC2 must know how to reach PC1 subnet. On PC2, create a new route that forwards all traffic to router interface 1. Try to ping the PCs from each other. As you can see the ping works. You can verify the routing table of both PCs with the IP route command. How does the router know where to send the packets? Use the IP route command to see which networks are directly attached. Let's save the lab so we can start it later on in its current state. Go into the folder for the lab. Create a new text document for each of the devices. The file name extension is .startup. The file name must match the device name which is declared in the lab configuration file. I'll create three files. Open the router file. Copy the CLI command for both interfaces into the file. Save the file, open up the files for both PCs and copy the interface configuration commands and the route command into the file. After you have saved both files, shut down the lab with the Cathara L clean command. Bring up the lab again with the Cathara L start command. The devices will start with a log message that shows the pre-configured commands. Ping the PCs from each other. Everything works when the file syntax is correct. It will throw an error if the file syntax isn't correct. Feel free to expand the network even further.